Amen. What a good thing it is to serve the Lord and praise Him with gladness and rejoicing. It's so important in this day and age that we live in to know what we believe. Because people come up with so many kinds of things, trying to change according to what man says that they should believe and they change the roots and the foundation of what they know. But let that not be us. We're going to choose to say, yes, I know what I believe in. The rock that I stand upon, which is a firm foundation that can never be shaken, which is the word of God, which we build our lives upon. And in this song that we're going to sing, we're going to remind ourselves what we believe in. You see, the enemy will try to come and he will try to convince you and try to make you doubt what you believe in. That's where he targets the most, where he tries to bring doubt and unbelief into your foundation. But we can stand and say in the name of Jesus, no, I will not be shaken. I will not be moved from what I believe in. Because we know what we stand upon, the rock of the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're so glad for all of you joining us online as well as we give praise and honor and worship to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. We serve a risen and a Savior that is still alive even 2,000 years later doing marvelous and wonderful things in our life. So we believe that you're going to be blessed today as you worship along and encouraged by the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We thank you. We praise you this morning, Father. We praise you. Thank you for the rock of the word that can never be shaken, Father. And we choose to build our lives on your word, Father. We know what we believe in as Christians, Father. We know what we believe in. And Father, we will constantly remind ourselves and we put ourselves in remembrance and stir up the flame that you lit in us, Father, when we were saved. Amen. Let's sing this song and remind ourselves what we believe in. We know the rock that can never be shaken is the word and we're going to sing this song with many verses proclaiming what we believe in. Hallelujah. We can never be shaken when we stand on that word. So let's rejoice in him. I believe. Hallelujah.
Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. We stand on the rock of your word that can never be shaken. Thank you, Father, for a firm foundation that we have. We are saved by your blood, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You have saved us. 
for saving us. So just think about the day you were saved. Just begin to thank God that you are saved. Thank you, Father, for saving us, Lord. Thank you for opening the eyes of our understanding to see you, Lord. Father, we're so thankful. Just begin to thank the Lord. Thank you, Father. We praise you. Oh, Lord, we remember, we remember, Father, all the good blessings you've done for us. Thank you for saving our life, Lord. Thank you for making us new. Thank you for choosing us into your family, Lord. We're so thankful to you, Jesus. We're so thankful that you have opened our eyes to see who you are, Lord. Removing the blindness out of our eyes. Bringing us out of the power of darkness into your kingdom of light. We're so thankful to you, Jesus. We're so thankful to you. Thank God he opened our eyes to see who he is. Even as we were singing about how, you know, we see on the rock, Jesus said that on the rock, upon this rock I will build my church. When Peter spoke those words, we see Jesus asked, he asked the disciples, who do men say I am? And they answered, some of them say you are, you are Elijah, or you are somebody else, one of the prophets. But then Jesus said, who do you say that I am? And we say that when Peter, when he answered, he didn't answer out of his head or his head knowledge. He said, you're the Christ, the son of the living God. And when he said those words, he was not talking out of his head. He was talking out of his spirit, out of the words that the father gave to him. The father revealed those words to him and said, yes, you are the Christ. That's who Jesus is. And there's a big difference when we start to talk from our spirit or talking from our head knowledge. When we talk from our spirit, we will know that the words that we're speaking are not our own, but they come from the heart of the Father. And we see how even Jesus, you know, we see that how the whole gospel was a mystery to people, how the cross was a mystery. People couldn't understand why he died on the cross, why he had to shed his blood and die the way he did. But we see how God opened our eyes through the scriptures, through Paul, to open up the mysteries of the kingdom. To men it was a mystery at the time, but God opened later on our eyes to see what was happening. That the gospel is no longer a mystery, but we can know the mysteries of God. You know, it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, that eye has not seen, ear has not heard the things that God has planned for us. But God reveals mysteries by His Spirit. He reveals it to those whom He loves. Sometimes things in your life might seem like a mystery. But you know what? When we start walking with the Lord, He will open our eyes to see, little by little, the plans He has for us. So we never need to say, God, I, I just can't understand. I can't see it. When we see by faith, we will begin to see much greater than what we are seeing on the outside. So as we sing this song, The Mystery, we're going to see how Jesus, the song says that he has opened, unveiled our eyes so we can see who he is. You don't have to be in the darkness about God anymore. God wants to open your eyes to see who he is. Let's sing this song, The Mystery That Has Been Revealed. See how great 
eyes have seen the King. Oh, I see, I see Him. See who He is. We've opened our eyes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Turn our eyes on you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
father we look to you you know even when you read the word let's not read it as a book but let's read it with the light of the holy spirit that's how the word can become revelation to us like we were singing earlier how when peter said those words you are the christ the son of the living god when everybody else saw jesus as just a prophet but when peter opened his mouth jesus knew this is not just man's words but the father in heaven who has revealed it and even when you open your bible when you read the words allow the holy spirit to reveal things to you that you never saw before when we open the book we can say father i thank you for opening the eyes of my understanding to see your word to see the like jeremiah says how we can eat his word and taste his word and his word becomes the joy and rejoicing of our hearts sometimes you might read a story in the word you never saw it like that the holy spirit starts enlightening your eyes to see things so father god we thank you this day even as your word is open to us father we thank you for revealing mysteries you are a god who reveals mysteries to us and lord father we know the greatest mystery you've already revealed to us but even other mysteries lord in life we know that one step at a time as we walk by faith you open up our eyes to see father the great plans that you have for us before the foundation of the world the plans you have for us thank you father we receive all the wonderful things today in jesus name amen let's listen to the word